Hi everyone, Victoria here. All right, I took a breather last night. Actually, I packed up that um, mauve taffeta dress to ship out on Monday. And repetition is the best way to learn something. So since I learned how to do that sack dress, I need to go to the next level and do the next harder thing. Hey, Catherine, hope you're doing well. So um, I think I might be getting too big for my britches now because I decided to take on another Georgian dress. I'm going to do the sack back, but I'm upping the complexity now. I'm going to make it over a grand panier, which um, there's a story behind that. I always That's the really big, wide skirt, like the Marie Antoinette skirt, that you really don't see. Um, and I was going to make one about a year ago, a grand panier. That's the, the panniers, the really big ones. Um, cause to buy them is if you go to Etsy or whatever and buy them, they're several hundred dollars because so few people make them. So I was going to try to make them and I got all this stuff to make them and I just looked at it and crossed my eyes and shook my head and <laughs> put everything back in the box uh, that was right after I made Colette Cameron's uh, crinoline cage last year, which was a lot of work. And I, yeah, I could do the Grand Panier, but I didn't think about it again until recently I saw somebody posted on Facebook a picture. There was a whole museum article and some museum specimens of the Grand Panier. Uh, and um, there were some pictures and I thought, you know what? I bet I could, I had this great big hoop skirt, you know, for like the antebellum dresses, the really big one, uh, really big one. I, and I started thinking, I, I bet I could reshape that into a grand panier. So I used some um, grow grain ribbon and some safety pins and about 20 minutes later, voila, I had a very good semblance of what I was looking for. Hey, Beverly. Hey, Maria. So... You saw me post pictures of that a couple weeks ago, and it's kind of been sitting off to the side. So now that I've done this Georgian sack dress, I want to do one with the really big skirts. And I said I'm getting too big for my britches because I've already messed it up. I started cutting the skirt, and I didn't realize just how big it has to be. I'm going to show you. This, I, this is just one skirt panel that I cut. I am going to do this dress... It is an iridescent light green and gold silk. It's going to be very pretty. Um, it's, it looks more gold than green, but it changes with the light. It is an iridescent silk. If it turns out well, it will be beautiful. It'll be stunning. So here's one skirt panel that isn't big enough for the great big grand panier. So here we go. You see what happened on the end? I got more hoop skirt sticking out than I do skirt. Uh, I underestimated just how big this thing was going to be. But I think I can fix it. I'm going to whip out my Jana Arnold Patterns of Fashion. And I know that I have two books that have pictures here. I'm going to find pictures of the dress I'm talking about. So y'all can see the dress I'm talking about. My southern's coming out. My y'all. Here's my y'all, and this is not it. That's earlier. I think it's in my other book. This is not the dress. That one does not have a big enough skirt. Uh, nope, it's in my other book, so I'm going to find it. Hang on. That's buried in my stack here. Okay, here it is. Here it is. Hang on. Got to put the phone down. Because I buried it. Okay, voila. All right. Here's the one where this is what we're talking about. You see how wide that skirt is next to the gentleman. In fact, I think mine's even wider. But here's the trick that I didn't realize I was going to have to do. The skirt's made differently. Here, we have two big skirts sewn together here. And then there's all these pleats on the side, and I am guessing that there's a panel right here on the side. And even if there isn't, there's going to have to be in mine, because otherwise my fabric is not wide enough. So, 
Um, oh, hang on. i got to plug my phone in. seems like every time I do this, my uh, I forget to look at my phone battery before I go live. Okay, so this is, this is going to be fun. This is going to be a challenge. I have to fix this. <laughs> I, um, I can fix it. Uh, I just have to be careful because I only have so much fabric to work with. I think I have nine yards of this. And the dress I just finished um, this weekend took nine yards with almost nothing left over. So I have to be very careful if I have to start adding skirt panels. But, hmm, because I can't get any more of this fabric either. I'm going to have to do some measuring before I go any further because if I don't have enough fabric, well, I guess if I don't have enough fabric, I have to take away the grand panier and just make it with a smaller skirt is what I'll have to do because I definitely have enough to do it with, this, with the normal size skirt. But I wanted, you know, go big or go home, ladies. I wanted to go big. <laughs> so... All right. Hey, Zena. I see your messages. So, yeah, this is my bit. Go big or go home. So, uh, I want to make this dress uh, specifically to use for my workshop at RWA in July. It is called How to Be a Well-Dressed Lady. So, I thought a well-dressed Georgian lady would be a very well-dressed Georgian lady and would wear the big skirt. So I will check back with you when I have some progress and hopefully I can use this grand panier. If not, I'm going to have to find some more fabric and buy lots of it. Probably about 12 yards. <laughs> Nine yards is a lot. That's 27 feet of fabric. <laughs> so, all right. I'm not a very good mathematician, but I think I got that right. Okay, we'll check in with you later. Hope everybody has a great weekend. I'll keep posting pretty pictures, but this one I want to model. If I get this one done, I want to do my little twirly thing and do my little video and prance around. You know, it's kind of anticlimactic when I make a beautiful dress and I can't put it on. <laughs> if I make it for someone else, I can't model it. So, you know, it's like, okay, it's done now. Now what? Well, normally if I do it, if I do it in my size, it's done. Ooh, I get to put it on. <laughs> I get to, you know, feel like a princess for about 15 minutes. Uh, so that's, the, that's kind of the deal. I love feeling like a princess. So, uh, bye-bye ladies. See ya. Have a good weekend.